Okay, here's a quick video I wanted to put together for you on my thoughts on um, key loggers with Windows 7 and in particular. And I, I do apologize up front in this video. The uh, test machine I use here is a Windows XP machine. But uh, one thing they do in Windows 7 that we found out with PC Tattletale is they're very sensitive uh, to the time it takes your software to process the keyboard pressing notifications. So they've really become very strict on keylogger. So how you can think about it is they, they basically, they let you hook into a uh, Windows 7 operating system and start grabbing keyboard events, uh, no problem at all. But if you start taking more than, I think it's 10 or 15 milliseconds to process those keystroke events, they just quit sending them to you. They don't give you any notification. And so a symptom of that is what's going to happen is if you go out and install a keylogger, you're going to find it's going to work for three or four minutes and then just stop working altogether. And that's because of that, uh, that new Windows 7 security fix. So getting keyloggers to work in general uh, is much harder to do on Windows 7. And it's for good reason. They, they don't necessarily care about key loggers at Microsoft. What they do care about is that when you typically install a key logger, you can kind of tell if you're, uh, if you're typing up emails or, uh, or different things like that. You can kind of tell that there's a little bit of lag in the keyboard and they're trying to prevent Windows from feeling sticky and slow. So that's why they do that. But going back to PC Tattletale here, uh, one thing we did with it is um, we have made key loggers for years. And if you want to download our old version here, you're more than welcome to. It's a, it's a great little key logger. But with our newer version, um, we kind of took a step back and we said, you know what? Uh, let's give you everything that you want from a key logger without actually getting in and trying to log the keys. Because another big drawback to uh, key loggers is a they show up as Trojans. Um, uh, your security software like uh, Norton and McAfee are going to constantly break them. Uh, you're going to have to learn how to exclude them from that. And then you're always worried that the person you're watching uh, is going to get the warning from Norton saying that you have this key logger installed. So there's a lot of things to worry about with that. And uh, uh, one thing that people don't really know about is um, if I take... Um, Google Chrome here and put it in uh, incognito mode uh, that'll disable key loggers as well so uh, unfortunately they just don't work as well as they uh, as they claim to be and like I said with PC Tattletail what we do we give you everything that's done on the computer so I'm going to show you that real quick here all you do is um, just hop on over to PCTattletail.com you can try it uh, free for seven days just download it put it on your computer we give you three different ways uh, you can view their activity. I won't get into these two right now. Um, but just start with this computer and just click that. And then you can click download viewing app. Uh, if you want to um, hide it and not have to keep coming back to the website, we give you some instructions how to do that. But I'm just going to load it up and show you how it works real quick here. And I'm going to just hit open and run you can see uh, you get no errors or problems with your security software and you just sign into your PC Tattletale account and if you notice this screen here does not say anything about a uh, PC Tattletale Oops, sorry about that maybe I should learn to type better okay there we go Okay, so it comes in and it shows you everybody who's used this computer. And this is uh, my account here. It's called Camtasia. And you can see me actually signing into PC Tattletale here. And I made a test account here, Jill, so you can see how it works. You just click on their account. Uh, it makes little videos. It automatically uh, deletes uh, the recording. So basically there's nothing for you to do. There's no options, no settings. We want this thing to just uh, work for you and uh, kind of get out of its way for you. So you just uh, click on the time you want to view. It comes in here and what you do, um, it's really cool. You'll get a good hang for it. You take this slider and hold your uh, mouse down and you just drag it across the bottom of the screen here. And what you'll find out is uh, there's things you're not really interested in. You can go over those faster. And things you are interested in, you can go over slower. Um, I also recommend using your uh, mouse trackball here um, to go through the videos. That's uh, the way I like to do it. You'll get a feel for it as you use this. I think you're really going to like it. Uh, you could take any... Uh, 
any screenshot here and save it if you need to confront them about stuff but this is going to give you uh, a very clear picture of everything they're doing on the computer without having to get in the business of trying to install and maintain a key logger uh, that you'll constantly be fighting with your system uh, to keep that thing running so we'd like you to head on over uh, give PC Tattletail a try and uh, if you have any problems at all using it uh, definitely let us know take care